If it wasn't God, oh, where would I be? I shall know my blessing, and there is no stressing, I live in this peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fly in the globe, all over the sea. I see many faces, but too many places that we never be. Alright guys, so y'all yeah, already know what the hell going on in the world with Mr. Diddy. Did it? Did it? Did it? Yeah, he did it. Did it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Mr. Oiled Up, full of baby oil and all that type of crazy stuff. You know, uh, it's, it's flabbergasting. You know what I'm saying? It's some crazy shit, you know? And now, right here, we got 10 disturbing Diddy interviews before uh, i said because of what we know now so it's like basically like what i understand from this title is kind of like you know like the interview that dd have had before all this exposed thing about dd is like moments that it was like you know you go back and you be like okay it's kind of sus now that now that i think about it i kind of question this moment what you want diddy you know what i'm saying he said diddy he said did he do it he said did he do it <laughs> yes he did <laughs> did he do it <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> oh man hey but we will check out this video we will get right to it. if you're watching on youtube man go ahead and subscribe like leave a comment down below if you're new to this channel also go follow the twitch man we right now on twitch live chilling with the family we lit also join the discord too you know what i'm saying hey pull up join the gang you know what i'm saying he said he scared me bro now i ain't gonna lie now that boy be me he, he gave me he gave pe most people stressing bro that's crazy it's always new thing every day they be finding about this nigga that's tough that's tough we know sometimes those relationships get ugly you know and sometimes it doesn't come out into the forefront the way this one has come out welcome to huh? Ms. mojo what the fuck did he just say i i don't even understand what the fuck he just said bro doesn't come out into the forefront the way this one has come out welcome to huh? Ms. mojo and today we're rewinding several interviews that retroactively left us asking what did diddy say you're gonna hear about my party they're gonna be shutting them down they're gonna probably be arresting me doing all types of crazy things just because we want to have a good time hey your good time is fucking nigga i need a butt bro that is your good time nigga what do you mean you want to have a good time your good time is tooting niggas ass up and smacking that shit and it was crazy like what the fuck you mean by that with some baby oil Man, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Representing the Wendy Williams Show. After Hot 97 fired Wendy Williams in 1998, she accused Sean P. Diddy Combs of using his money and influence to, quote, try to crush her in New York. Almost two decades after their beef started, Williams welcomed Diddy onto her talk show, seemingly on good terms. I know I pissed a lot of people off, including you. Mm -hmm. But this is a full circle moment, yes, everybody. Yes. Get into adult yeah. conversation. Yeah, this yeah. Is full circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. While Diddy presents himself as someone who's matured into a role model. <laughs> Wendy ought to make that shit clear. Like, hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you listening? I'm trying to address this shit so you don't come for my ass. You know like, so you don't come for what I got going on. No, you feel me? Because you some crazy motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But you heard what I was Hey, motherfucker, don't, don't do that shit. Several moments are now traced with irony. This Williams I saw inquires yet. That's about crazy. Diddy's lifestyle and the people he surrounds himself with, asking if they, quote, violate him. She meant financially, but her phrasing proved prognostic. You mm. threw a house party and I got the <laughs> footage, okay? Look at this. Now, who has this many people at their house? Puff and, uh, or Sean, Diddy, Doody, what do I call you? <laughs> Diddy Damn, discusses setting a positive example for African-American males and his charter school, Capital Prep. Diddy's partnership with the school unsurprisingly ended in November 2023. A sexual assault accusation surfaced. Our children are expected not just to learn to read, write, and compute, but to use that which they've learned to improve their community. Defending Justin Bieber. Oh, no. Nah, I saw there was a video also on YouTube, like, uh, with, uh, I think Diddy was telling Justin Bieber not to tell nobody about the Diddy party. Like, but I didn't watch the video. I just saw, like, there's a video up on YouTube. I'm like, okay, what the fuck is this about? That's Hollywood. The allegations against Diddy have made people reassess his relationships with several young protégés, including Justin Bieber. Diddy's 48 hours with Bieber in particular isn't as cool as it seemed in 2009. Where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Although Diddy is in trouble with the law now, 
The positions were reversed in 2014 when Bieber got arrested for a DUI. Diddy defended Bieber in an Access Hollywood interview. He acknowledged that the pop star had made mistakes, but Diddy vowed to help him stay, quote, on the right track. I, I, I don't think that he um, should, should be judged like he's not a human being or he's not a teenager that has to hit some stumbling blocks. You know what I'm saying? It's just not fair. To, to make him a perfect human being. Fast forward almost a decade, Bieber's a Man, that nigga look like a... He look like the actual predator from the, you know, from the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at him. Look look at that nigga. You telling me you don't look like a crazy nigga? Nah, Rest feels innocent compared to Combs's. Bieber wasn't as quick to rush to Diddy's defense. A source claims that Bieber doesn't want to focus on Diddy's scandal instead dedicating his time to being, quote, a great dad and husband. Does he want to have, you know, any affiliation with any of this? No, but I think that even for him, where he is in his life right now, I think it is a smart thing for him to just not even get involved in anything. Keep JLo's name out your mouth, Jimmy Kimmel Live. In late 2023, shortly before Cassie Ventura filed her lawsuit against Diddy, the rapper sat down with Jimmy Kimmel. The host asked about a rumor. <laughs> look at that comment. Though. It said he looked like he ass bunny and night. <laughs> look at the fuck. It said Bro, I can't with chat, though. I cannot with my chat, though. Nah, y'all niggas volley, bro. Amid the release of Jada Pinkett Smith's memoir, Worthy, oh. according to somebody claiming to be Diddy's former security guard, Will and Jada wanted to have a threesome with Jennifer Lopez. Diddy was dating Lopez at the time, allegedly threatening to beat up Will. Diddy was dating Lopez? That's my shorty, dog. You date my shorty? That's crazy. That, nah, I ain't never thought Diddy was going to be dating J-Lo. You know what I'm saying? But damn, that's crazy. You had the daddy crazy motherfucker. That's tough. Smith. Hearing Kimmel relay this tale, Diddy initially responded with a stone-cold stare. He quickly changed his tune, laughing it off and denying such gossip. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, Jimmy, I thought we was friends. What is this? Whether or not this story is completely fabricated, it's far from the most shocking thing Diddy has been accused of. It isn't the most bonkers story involving Will and Jada either. No, I it's all about no, love, though. That's no, not true. You you really heard that? No. What? Yeah, yeah. Hands to yourself, Diddy. The Keenan Ivory. Oh no, nah, I saw this video. In the past, if you had P Diddy and Mike Tyson in the same room, chances are we'd be more intimidated by the heavyweight champion. Now we'd be more concerned for Tyson's well-being. <laughs> in 1998, this the two appeared on Keenan Ivory move, Wayans' man. short-lived talk show. If you're curious about the pairing, the boxer wanted to start a music company. People's been helping me out. Um, Wycliffe's been helping me out. Devontae Swing's been helping me out. And hopefully Puffy helped me out, you know. <laughs> While much of the interview feels casual, a blink and you'll miss it dose of awkwardness occurs as Diddy's hand gets a little yeah, too I close remember to this Tyson. Too. Wearing a grin, Tyson removes Diddy's hand before scooching away. But it was like, I just felt, I was embarrassed for like weeks. Like, oh, it, it truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh, yeah. This is this is <laughs> yeah, I remember that shit. <laughs> and that nigga said, oh, uh, yeah, it's really about the Benjamin. Nigga, move your gay ass. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Too much into this gesture, but to say that Diddy has been accused of invading personal space would be an understatement. Man, Watching that's this crazy. makes us almost as uncomfortable as Tyson. What are we doing, man? Let's talk about this guy. Yeah, let's let's, let's talk about Puff. Seventy three questions with Sean Diddy Combs. Vogue. Vogue's <laughs> seventy three questions series allows viewers to connect with celebrities on a more personal level. Admittedly, a lot of these interviews are presented through a rose tinted lens. Nowhere is that more apparent than in Diddy's interview. Love, how do you describe yourself? Uh, I'm vivacious, eccentric, and I'm a Scorpio. In 2017, the video presents Diddy in a down-to-earth light. On the heels of his 2024 arrest, though, some of Diddy's responses feel like setups for punchlines that late-night hosts would have a field day with. Now, you've gone on the record saying that your white party is up there with the top three that you've ever thrown for people. What are the other... Two. I would say when I got my star on Hollywood, I have. They say you gotta be weird as fuck if Mike Tyson is scared of you. Nah, that is, that is freaking. Nah, that hit different. I ain't gonna lie. If Mike Tyson is fucking scared of your weird ass, bro, 
Yeah, something's up, nigga. Because Mike Tyson could have just beat your ass up, but it's like, nigga, I, I ain't going to do that because I know this nigga is on some foo-foo shit, bro. At a party and this year at Burning Man at an undisclosed location. To name a few, Diddy describes himself as, quote, eccentric, says that there are, quote, no misconceptions about him, and claims, quote, compassion is his best personal trait. Diddy also brings up love several times, even asking the interviewer to refer to him by that name. Oh, and his dream collaboration would be with Michael Jackson. Why? I mean, it's My Michael Jackson, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? The Princess so and Puppy, too? The Graham Norton Show. Many famous names have quote-unquote partied with Diddy over the years. Not every invitee showed up, however. In 2011, Graham Norton Kanye? asked about a rumor that Diddy wanted... That's how Kanye West... Three invitees showed up, however. Oh, that's Kanye right there. Okay. In 2011, Graham Norton asked about a rumor that Diddy wanted Princes William and Harry to attend one of his parties. Diddy assured Norton that they were no longer on the list. Not anymore. I mean, before, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't you know, ruin our royal no, wedding yeah, for I'm, us. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Trust me, they're off the list. This was seemingly because William was about to marry Catherine Middleton. But Diddy's clumsy word choice turned this into a This be everywhere. <laughs> Diddy claimed that he wanted to party with the princes when they were, quote, young bucks growing up. I can just go over for some tea or something and we could kick it. Since the princes had something of a reputation for getting into trouble, Diddy thought they'd, quote, want to hang out. Given what allegedly went down at numerous puffy parties, Diddy might have felt more at home with Prince Andrew. Going to um, Jeffrey's was not about partying. Absolutely not. Any interviews with Cassie. Throughout their relationship, Diddy and Cassie Ventura accompanied each other to various red carpet events. Even when flying solo, Diddy and Cassie would often speak adoringly of each other. <laughs> um, the birthday party was incredible. Um, you know, um, she's such a special person. On the surface, the two looked like the epitome of a glamorous couple. That illusion was shattered when Cassie sued Combs for a, quote, cycle of abuse, violence, and sex trafficking that allegedly lasted almost a decade. If I'm on her uh, team as her attorney, I'm making it clear that that's what happened here, that the relationship started out good, but gradually it got worse and worse to the point that she was caught in this vicious cycle. Uh, she was caught under his thumb. Some of Cassie's claims were supported by video evidence. After watching this footage, it's impossible... to look back on any of their interviews together the same way again. Nah, this shit was sad as fuck, bro. This shit was sad as fuck, bro. But that nigga running out in his fucking towel, bro. <laughs> That's the ugly shit. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's just the ugliest fuck, bro. Like, what the that nigga, you that desperate to fucking abuse a woman, nigga, running out looking like that, nigga, that is fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> that is, nigga, you a psycho, nigga. You stupid as fuck, bro. I ain't gonna... <laughs> he say like, yo, where my bread at? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's that desperate, bro. The most disheartening example may oh, have been at man. the 2018 Rest Met Gala, please. where Liza Koshy asked Cassie if there was anything she'd like to confess. I keep everything right here. There you go. Or right here. There you go. That's how you do it. Cassie wouldn't keep quiet much longer. Chris Brown, Rihanna, and Diddy 2, The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Few could have predicted that P. Diddy and Ellen DeGeneres would both be problematic figures by 2024. Diddy dropped by DeGeneres' show multiple times. Puffy parties were a popular topic. Ellen even invited him to one of her parties. You know I have to arrive fashionably late. All right. Not too late, though. Not too late? Not too late, what please. What time would you like me there? Um, I'll tell you later. Okay. But okay. not too late. Because, because you know, once you get there, the party really starts. In an especially unsettling interview from 2009, DeGeneres asked Diddy about Rihanna and Chris Brown, the latter of whom had been accused of domestic violence. Diddy reportedly lent Brown his Miami mansion, supposedly attempting to help reconcile his relationship with Rihanna. If I could be there as a friend during hard times, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna be there as a friend. Right. But I don't know the exact particulars. I didn't get into it. I'm not gonna do this or do that. It's, it was a dark, it's a dark time for them, and I was there more as a support. Diddy didn't deny these claims. 
saying that he could lend his house to whoever he wanted. While Diddy condemned violence, he argued that stones shouldn't be thrown without all the facts. Unlike Diddy, Brown notably pleaded guilty to his assault charges. From there, I said, you know what, I'm going to just take everything and like it come. My consequences for my actions have to be dealt with. Lock the doors. Late night with Conan O'Brien. Between Danny Masterson and P. Diddy, celebs should be careful what they tell Conan O'Brien. It may come back to haunt them years later. In Diddy's case, Conan spoke with the rapper in 2002. Legendary for the parties that you throw. Mm -hmm. You throw a great party. I'm a legend, baby, for a whole bunch of things. <laughs> O'Brien wanted to learn the key to throwing a puffy party. Diddy provided a detailed list that included beautiful ladies, beautiful men, booze, water, and, quote, locks on the doors. Conan brought the interview to a brief halt, questioning if Diddy's parties were safe. No, no, I wasn't saying, no, it was a new, it was a new Sean, party. Sean, you're in my house now, you see. Please, he stumbled into my please, house. Please, It's no. okay, it's gonna be fine. Okay, cool. Let me just, please let me finish. Okay. Diddy admitted that the locks were a little, quote, kinky, although there might be another word for it. Maybe Diddy intended this as a joke, but can I mean, I saw the way you grabbed that mic. It's kind of sus, bro. Considering everything that's been reported about his parties as of late, this answer comes off as brutally honest. Um, you know, everybody gets a little bit more comfortable and loose. Builds up a nice little sweat. That just sounds disgusting. What are you doing? <laughs> Depends on the way you look at it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Puffy's Party Premonition – Entertainment Tonight In 2001, Diddy spoke with Entertainment Tonight about his gun trial, calling it, quote, a scary situation. You know, 12 people who are uh, um, the whole of fate of your life. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like if Diddy had a dreads, bro, he gonna look like Carson Knott, bro. <laughs> I don't know why, bro. Nah, this picture right here, somebody just got put a dread on that nigga. Tell me that nigga don't look like Carson Knott, bro. <laughs> I swear. I just see it for some reason, bro. Like, put a dread on this nigga, bro. He look like Carson Knott. No cap, bro. I ain't throwing no shit, bro. Carson Knott, my man. You know what I'm saying, bro? Nah, just looking at that shit, bro. Throw a dread on that nigga right now. You go to his head. He says it's crazy how motherfucker gets ugly when you realize they kiss it. <laughs> they criminal. Oh, nah. Oh, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> he said, hold on. You said, what? He said, I bet. Now, put a, put a, put a, put a Kaisenai dread on that nigga right now and put a picture of Kaisenai. Put that on the, on the Discord right now and let me know. See, like, you gonna see that. It, that looks mad like No cap, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, I put it in God's hands. Two years earlier, Diddy gave another interview that foreshadowed his current legal situation. Diddy claimed he couldn't get a permit for his parties, although this wouldn't stop him from throwing them. He suspected that eventually the authorities would arrest him for trying to, quote, have a good time. Whenever you bring up a different element into people's environment, things that broaden people's horizon, people get intimidated. There's a lot of people out there that feel intimidated by it. 25 years after this interview, Diddy was charged with several serious crimes. This includes sex trafficking, which extends to That's his good. alleged freak-off parties. He's seen in this video entering the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan with others when agents from Homeland Security Investigations approach and separate him. Combs has pleaded not guilty. Snatch his ass. Time will only tell if the verdict will be in his favor. Given the toll the scandal has already taken on his reputation, though, Gapshi, I see your comments. For good. Beyond what the people know about, all of the extra stuff that people don't even know about, or people that are close to you don't even know about, and it just sometimes it just feels like you know. You, you want to give up. What do you think is Diddy's most notorious interview? Let us know in the comments. Who's the person that's number one on that invitation list? Leonardo DiCaprio. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe. Man, that's crazy, bro. Man, that is, that is crazy. Bro, I cannot, man. Hi. <sighs> that is crazy, bro. Nah, but whatever. Nah, this, this man's case is really getting worse and worse by the day, by the week, by the month. Like, it's just getting worse, bro. I don't know what else they're going to find about him. And I also heard that I think they said like a hundred, like, K 
kids came out all at once talking about some yeah they've been assaulted by him and shit i'm like damn i heard about that i don't know how true that is but i'm like damn bro it's just something new day by day about this dude bro nah that's insane man that's insane like hey man but that's it for this video man i would say it was confirmed that was true damn that's crazy that's crazy it's, it's, that is crazy though what the fuck nah that's tough hey man but that's it for this video um yeah let me know what you guys think let me know your opinion in the comment section if you have any other video you want to recommend for me to check out any latest news whatever like i intend to not even get myself involved in any of this bullshit but it's just like damn bro what the fuck is going on like i gotta see some shit for myself or hear some shit for myself but yeah it's wild it's wild but that's it for that video if you're watching on youtube we out on that one though